with Charles Bediaco bringing it down for the tie. Big Al is here along with the rest of the Crimson Tide students. These two teams, Alabama and South Alabama, haven't met since 2010. This is their fourth ever meeting between the two teams. And there's the quick steal, but it goes out of bounds off the hands of Charles Manning. And he's going to be one of the go-to guys here today. He and Javon Franklin, those are the names that the Jaguar staff hopes we mention a lot tonight. Definitely so. Coach Richie Riley has a very athletic squad. Starting off with Charles Manning Jr. and Javon Franklin. They'll give it their all against Alabama tonight. Offensive foul on Keon Ellis to open the ball game. Of course, he's playing awfully well, Ellis is. Keon Ellis, one of the best two-way players in the country. He gives up his body. He attacks on both ends of the court. Maybe the heart and soul for the Alabama Crimson Tide. There's the starting five coming up on the screen as Gonzalez misses long range. Rebound on the putback as an air ball and taken down by Alabama going the other way. Here's Quinterly. Alabama looking to run. That's what they do. Keon Ellis. He's a and that will be steps on Ellis and a turnover. Possessions will be a big factor in this game. Both teams will have to look to value the ball. Especially for South Alabama. They know that Alabama likes to get into a track meet and they're gonna to have to get the game in their favor If they want to come to Tuscaloosa and come out with a win We asked coach Riley earlier today. I said do you think you can run with this team? He said do you think anybody in America can run with Alabama? He said we don't want to get into a track meet with them Well, he definitely knows he has the athletes, but one thing is he said they're not really healthy They're missing some very very important players and they're hoping they can pick it up the slack for those missing out tonight there's the Bama starting five as Shackelford drains the tray. Alabama, experienced roster, a lot of battle tested, a lot of playing time together, especially the guard play. Gonsalves missing two long ones, and now the back and over and back call at the mid floor. So the turnover against the Jaguars of South Alabama. A little look at the athleticism that South Alabama brings to the table tonight against Alabama squad. It's going to be an up and down matchup tonight. We'll have to see which two of these teams can pull it out in the end. That's number 10 there, Deontay Smith, a former Alabama commitment. Now three years at South Alabama. Ball turned back in the paint, saved, and a long tray try. Counted for Keon Ellis, and a foul. Alabama doing what they do, getting a piece of the paint, kicking it out to Keon Ellis, able to come up with the tray ball and a foul. Here he is, Javon Quinterly, taking it to the basket, gets a piece of the paint, deflection, but kicks it out, stays with it. Jav uh, Keon Ellis knocks down the tray and one. The foul on Deontay Smith. Ellis for Alabama is averaging a double-double here early in the season. 16 and a half points and 11 rebounds per ball game. That's a nice way to get out of the blocks, huh? De definitely so. As I said before, he's a two-way player, and he's improved and expanded upon his game this year. Looking to be a leader for the Crimson Tide all the way around. You saw those numbers, though, his numbers from last year. So great growth for Ellis here early this season. Ellis applying a lot of ball pressure, trying to make things difficult for South Alabama as they try to set up their offense. Manning will lay it in for two. Strong finish by Charles Manning Jr. He's an athletic player. He likes to get downhill and drive it to the basket. As you can see, as he finished with a tough deuce in the paint. Driving the paint and a nice easy floater for Shackelford. Easy is what Jaden Shackelford does. He's a crafty player. Can get in the paint, finish with his left hand. He's a tough matchup for South Alabama tonight. The South Alabama Jaguars. Third game of the year for them. It's off Chandler's foot taken by the Tide. Alabama looking to get out and run after the turnover. Into the paint. No good for Noah Gurley. The Furman transfer. The Furman transfer. He looks to get, get it going down low oftentimes. Alabama not a big low post team. 
but Noah Gurley will take it in and mix it up a little bit with some low post action. Big time defense inside. Bama's Ellis slows it down and says, why not? In and out, no. And Gary has it. Or excuse me, uh, Gonsalves has it. South for Al South Alabama. South Alabama looking to slow down the pace here. Coach Richie Riley says they have a good chance to win this game. It's to control the possessions. They don't want to get into a track meet with Alabama. If they can keep the game tight and keep possessions limited, then they know they have, might have an advantage. Over top of the D, no good. There's a look at Richie Riley. Coach Richie Riley. A transfer heavy roster that he has here with South Alabama. We talked to him earlier today. He has some experience at Nichols State. He found out that he was ahead of the curve with the transfers. Yep. He was able to select a lot of players through transferring and got found himself to have a lot of success. That's what he is the brand that he has seemed to build here at South Alabama. A 13 year assistant coach before heading to eventually Nichols State and now South Alabama he said he's been in, all, been through it all and another couple for Alabama and the whistle it's Charles Bediaco on the pick and roll catches it and finishes it with the and one second foul on Deontay Smith Javon Quinterly able to get into the paint drop off the dime to Bediaco and one Betty Yako, very soft hands for a seven-footer to be able to catch the ball for an 18-year-old in his freshman year, coming off pick-and-roll play from corner league, catch a ball below your knees, come and finish in traffic and one. Very impressive play for a seven-footer. Charles Betty Yako. Misses the and one. Coming off a 12-point performance the other night against South Dakota State. Strong performance for Charles Bediaco against South Dakota State. He was able to find a rhythm early on. He seems to have developed some, some chemistry with Javon Kenner Quinterly in the pick and roll. Off the air ball. Here's J.D. Davison running the floor. J.D. Davison, electric guard. Trying to be a little bit more aggressive tonight so he can seem to find his rhythm with this guard-heavy Alabama Crimson Tide roster. Gonsalves, number four in blue, took away any penetration chance. But now they'll penetrate and go over the top looking for Bediaco and the whistle. And we're coming right back. Just getting going here in Tuscaloosa. An eight point. Bama with four points off turnovers already as well. So every little bit contributes to this kind of a start for the Tide. South Alabama, they beat Spring Hill 102 to 41. They played well in a losing effort in Wichita. Losing to the Shockers 58, excuse me, 64 to 58. Big time D and they come down out of bounds. Another turnover for South Alabama. The Crimson Tide, meanwhile, they beat Louisiana Tech 93 to 64. And then South Dakota State 104 to 88 to go 2 and 0 to start the season. Alabama starting off the season 2-0 and and starting off that last possession with some very, very strong defense. Defense is what Coach Nate Oates has said he wants to emphasize today. He knows he has a really good defensive team. Hasn't been able to show that early on, but set the tone right there with the opening and that's after that timeout. Turnover by the Crimson Tide. Here's Chandler. Sets things up. They drive against Davison, and the window touch gives the Jaguars two. Nice turnaround jumper off the glass. South Alabama looking to get a spark going. Of course, Nate Oates, the head coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. Third year here. He's 44 and uh, 22. Coach Oates. Coach Oates is saying he's hoping to, to, to learn to find this team. He's liking this team a lot. They're very unselfish and talented team, particularly at the guard position. They're looking to need to improve defensively. 
Nobody able to find the range. And a block inside by Jason Holt. Javon Franklin coming in with a lot of energy. He's a very athletic player. He gets on the offensive glass. He can leap with some of the best of them. He was able to get that one and give his chance a second chance. There he is with the tip it in. Came up short. Second jump. Offensive round strong. Got it blocked, but came up with the foul. Get a chance at the free throw line for two. Personal foul on Keon Ambrose Hilton. His first. As a team. South Alabama shooting 63% from the free throw line coming in. Franklin misses the first. And makes the second. So Bama now with three turnovers in their last one minute and 47 seconds. Coach, Na Coach Nato said if they want to give a chance to be the best team they're in, they're going to have to learn to value the basketball. Cut down on the turnovers and be a more solid offensive team. And the underhand scoop and the whistle. It'll be Keon Ambrose Hilton picking up the personal, his second. Ambrose Hilton had one rebound in five minutes of work in his last outing. Anderson. Nice little drop in for two, Javon Franklin. There's a look at the athleticism of Javon Franklin. He's a he's, he's an SEC a, player. He's an SEC athlete yeah. for sure. He's a, he's a player who likes to face the basket as the big to find his mismatch, turning, facing, and driving towards the basket. Franklin went to Auburn. There they come down out of bounds. To the dismay of Coach Richie Riley, very animated on the sidelines, as you can tell. It was fun to talk to today. He you know, really was. He, he had a lot of stories, told a lot of stories about where he's been and his path as a coach. And he's happy to find a place here at South Alabama. He's developed a brand, a brand specifically with the transfers, and he enjoys coaching. I'll tell you, this is getting to be a little sloppy at this stage of the day. Both teams have to settle down, find their rhythm. Try to execute some offense. South Alabama has been able to find their way and cut into this lead. Four turnovers now for South Alabama. And seven for the Alabama Crimson Tide. Right on cue with another turnover. Yeah. Davison drives through. Offensive foul on J.D. Davison. Turnovers seeming to be a problem for both teams. I've talked to both coaches today. They really want to start protecting the basketball as we take another look here at J.D. Davison taking it full speed. A little out of control. K.O. Gonsalves able to take the charge. Well, K.O. Gonsalves, he's from uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil by way of southeastern Oklahoma State and now at South Alabama. On a team with many transfers, K.O. Gonsalves has, seems to be the player that has found a leadership role with his experience here on the roster. And Manning, who joined the team this summer. So they've had some time to work with Charles Manning. A little bit of time. They're still trying to find themselves in jail, but he's an energetic player, and this is an energetic bunch. And they found a way to tie this game back up. Yep, an eight-point Alabama lead has now disappeared. And here's a chance for the Jaguars to take the lead. Going to the window and the fall away. No. Rebound put back. No. You've got to make those bunnies. Beautiful contest by Charles. And a Pidiaco. blocking foul. A blocking foul on Manning. It'll be his first. Charles Manning a little bit out of position there. Charles Bediaco earlier. It's a beautiful, beautiful positioning. As the drive's coming in, a lot of verticality there. Changed the shot, still hands high, forces another miss. Alabama with the ball, trying to get off to the races. Bama's not scored in three minutes and 38 seconds now. Which for this team, that's an eternity, man. Definitely so. But Alabama, they like to get the game into a track meet, and they would like to let it fly. So a little lull here in the scoring, but a couple of possessions, and 
They're a team that can turn it on really, really quickly. Fediaco being talked to by Coach Nate Oates. Young Ellis. man getting a little bit of coaching from Coach Nate Oates. Underneath, Ellis, nice spinning move and around the defense for two. Beautiful up and under by Keon Ellis. Able to get the shot blocker off his feet and in the, in the air and lay it up right in the paint. Probably the hottest guy on the ball club now for Alabama. Definitely so, and very consistent. You can see the confidence that he exudes just in his facial expression. Another turnover. Darius Miles brings it up the floor. Quinterly. Nice move. Feeds inside, and the touch by Ellis for two more. Nice alley-oop by Javon Quinterly finding Ellis. A little pick-and-roll action. Quinterly rejects it, takes it into the paint, able to find his other guard mate, Keon Ellis, for the alley-oop. Six points for Ellis. The other way, it won't go for Anderson. And it's out of bounds off South Alabama. But so far, taken over. And it's no surprise the way he's been playing. Like LSU in the field goal department, Tennessee. Shooting from outside the arc. That's who's leading the SEC here in the very, very early stages of this season. Darius Miles, number two to Javon Quinterly, 13. To Miles. And an offensive foul. Another turnover for Alabama. A little bit too aggressive and overdriving Javon Quinterly. But way to come in there with K.O. Gonzalez. Here's Quinterly taking it to the baskets. K.O. Gonzalez stepping up above the restricted circle and taking the charge. And beautiful. he was there. He was, he, was, he was planted. Beautiful, beautiful positioning by K.O. Gonzalez. And, of course, Richie Riley loves it. Graduate of Eastern Kentucky, Riley is. A lot of experience coaching for Coach Richie Riley. He's been a little bit of everywhere. Gonsalves for three with a pretty assist by Manning. And Gonsalves is everywhere, too, with a deep tray. Gurley off the mark, no good. Slow break here for South Alabama. The pick and roll with Chandler. For their first lead of the ball game, and they've got it off the shot by J.J. Chandler. Tough finish by J.J. Chandler here in the paint. Able to get to his left hand and finish with the contact. Tell you what, they had a beautiful setup, though, to Gonsalves. He got things going off the Manning feed. Let's take a look at it. Gonsalves able to free himself up and knock down the triple. And here they go with the same action again. This time, J.J. Chandler taking it to the cup with a strong left-hand finish in the paint. Now Alabama trailing for the first time today. Quinterly drives on Chandler and the floater for two. Beautiful finish by Javon Quinterly. Under control that time as he saw K.O. Gonzalez step up trying to take another charge. He stopped just short of the restricted circle and threw a nice right-hand floater right over the top of K.O. as he was ready to take a charge. Beautiful and with shot. Ellis going by, Manning just stops on a dime and pops it in for a deuce. Response by Manning. You can see the passion in his yep. face. He's saying, hey, not tonight. It's not going to be easy for the Tide here on their home court. And, you know, Manning, and we talked about it earlier as Coach uh, Oates does uh, points things out. Manning is used to this atmosphere. He, he played with LSU. Yeah, this is nothing new to him. He definitely is as he whips it behind the back and shoots a mid-range jumper. Plenty of confidence for Manning here for South Alabama. Gurley's shot is no good off the back of the iron. And that's why we highlighted all the transfers from within the SEC at the opening of the telecast. And Gonzalez now getting hot from Trey Land. Talented roster, Gonzalez, as he knocks down a tray. They're wearing South Alabama jerseys, but these players are definitely Power 5 program talent. Yep. Really good athletes all over the court, and they seem to be finding their chemistry right here together on the court tonight. Four-point lead for the Jaguars. And the whistle. As Bama drove the lane. You know, Gonzalez 
two of four from the three-point line tonight. Five of 11 coming in. So the guy's got an apparently a pretty decent shooting touch. He's been a very efficient, maybe the most efficient player for South Alabama this season. It's a testament to the leadership he's shown. He's experienced here with the team. And Coach Richie Rodley has said he has taken on that leadership by example. That nice tray out of the corner makes it a one-point game as South Alabama, four of their last four, now five of their last five. My goodness, what a tough shot by J.J. Chandler. Maybe even a little bit of contact. He was able to get it to fall in with the left hand off the glass. Davis and around Smith. The leaner as he pulls up and it's short. A lot of contact there on that drive as J.D. Davison was able to come up short. A turnaround for two. J.J. Chandler. He's a Texas A&M transfer. And he's, he too knows this atmosphere. Yes, he does. He's, he's been in this building before. And he's definitely confident tonight with that beautiful turnaround jumper. And look at the emotion on the bench for South Alabama. The entire bench fired up. Jamal West, number 25. They seem to be setting and following the leadership of their head coach, Richie Riley. He's yep. fired up over there tonight. Very intense coach. For the Crimson Tide. That will go as a personal foul. It'll be his second. A little too much jawing. Back to playing basketball. Now the give by Quinterly inside to Davison. And they'll reset the offense. Bama has led by eight. South Alabama leads now by five. As the shot by Ellis misfires. Beautiful extra pass by J.D. Davison. Ellis just coming up short on the three ball. Gonsalves leaves it off for Chandler. They've keyed to the offense lately. That one is no good. Nice defense by Davison. Great contest on the step side jumper. Shackelford to Davison. Pesky defense here by South Alabama. And all of a sudden, Bama's shooting is going cold. Credit to South Alabama. They've seen to pick up the intensity. is sparked by Charles Manning Jr. Shackelford, seven points. South Alabama wanted to travel there. And it's going to go out of bounds off of South Alabama. It'll be Alabama ball. But I'll tell you, Gonsalves has really been showing their hat on. They're able to hold Alabama to a low shooting percentage here tonight, and they're in a little lull now. And that's why they have the lead here on the road in Tuscaloosa. The other thing is, South Alabama has hit six of the last eight shots. Alabama has missed their last four with a scoring drought of two minutes and 14 seconds. Things have definitely turned for the tide here. A floater, no, and it's out of bounds off whom? It'll be out of bounds off South Alabama. So it'll be a Crimson Tide inbounds. J.J. Tandler looks to put a little token pressure on here. Javon Quinterly set the tone here for South Alabama. Holt to Quinterly. A lone left corner. You can't lose sight of the man. But Miles missed the shot. The putback is good for Charles Bediaco. Beautiful putback by Charles Bediaco, the seven-footer, going up in the paint, snagging it, and going up strong. Coach Richie Riley of South Alabama saying, weren't there elbows thrown in there? The official said, probably by both guys. Let's play. And the spinning move there won't go. Loose ball on the floor, taken by the Tide. And here comes Bama going the other way. Shackelford, no. Pace is a little bit frantic here. It is. And both coaches giving the look to calm down, everybody. 
And an offensive foul. J.J. Chandler picks up the offensive foul. The transfer from Texas A&M. He's a grad student. Here's Jaden Schlackford sliding his feet, trying to get in front of it, takes it in the chest, charge. Beautiful play by Jaden Schlackford. Chandler didn't like the call worth a darn. No, he, he shot the official all sorts of BBs. <laughs> he definitely didn't agree with it. He seems to be the heart and soul of this team. Yep. You can see his intensity. He wants to get a win tonight. Maybe he can compose himself and get back out here on the court for South Alabama. And the 12th turnover of the ball game for the Alabama Crimson Tide. 12 for Bama, 10 for South Alabama. Both teams will have to look to settle down, run their offense. Manning with the fall away in the paint for two. Boy, he kept his calm there, didn't he? Definitely so. Charles Manning Jr. with a sweet touch right in the paint. Coming up on the five-minute mark of a frantic first half with interesting storylines so far. Baseline, nice floater for Miles. Very nice pull-up jumper by Darius Miles. Head fake, puts it on the deck, on the baseline, pulls up right in front of the shot clock for the sweet short jumper. Yep. He's averaging 12 points per ball game. And driving through, swatted away by Bediaco. Outlets to Shackelford. Knocked away from behind another turnover. Neither coach, I don't believe, has got to, is a believing the number of turnovers here tonight. Can't be pleased with the turnovers here tonight. If you're Jaden Shackelford and you're pushing the break with an athletic team like South Alabama, you have to know that someone is looking for a back tip. South Alabama's made only one of their last seven field goals, and Shackelford drains the tray. That'll tie us up at 26 all here in Tuscaloosa. No back tip right there as Jaden Shackelford lines one up from deep for the tie. Out of the corner, Gonsalves. Quinterly stops too strong off the glass. Bediaco, Shackelford, too strong, and the rebound for Gonsalves. Gonsalves is 6 8, 2 12. Had a shot there, didn't make it, but he can also shoot from outside. He's got six points tonight. Picked off on another turnover. South Alabama had numbers, was looking to run, couldn't find it. But baseline drive. Wonderfully done for Deontay Smith. Strong drive on the baseline by Deontay Smith. He had 16 against Spring Hill. And that one is whistled before it goes out of bounds. Thayer Shackoff has been playing awfully well for Bama tonight, hasn't he? He definitely has. He has the hot hand as a South Alabama. Ellis has eight points for Alabama behind Shackelford. While behind Manning, you've got both Gonsalves and Chandler with six. And Smith cans the free throw. Deontay Smith. He's a junior from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And it's a four-point lead. Again, the largest lead for South Alabama has been five at 26-21. Bama's largest lead was eight at 10-2. Pressure defense by South Alabama. They lost sight of the man on the wing, but Consalvis got out there in a hurry, and there's a dribble out of bounds. It'll be South Alabama ball as Shackelford dribbled it out of bounds as we said earlier the South Alabama team is an experienced ball team maybe not a lot of experience together 
but you can see the confidence. They're not afraid to come in this building against a highly ranked Alabama Crimson Tide team. And they seem to be taking it to them and throwing the first punch here tonight in the opener. Again, though, we stress. That's why we talk about how many of the guys for South Alabama played in this building, played in these types of atmospheres while in the SEC. Absolutely. And there's a turnover and a foul. You know, the transfers, when you take a look, uh, Turbo Jones, Terrell Jones, he's out hurt, but he went to Auburn. Lance Thomas, he has a knee injury. He went to Memphis. You have Greg Parham, who played at VMI. And on down the list, those guys, Javon Franklin, who played at Auburn. LSU's Charles Manning, J.J. Chandler from Texas A&M. Of the 10 newcomers, eight are transfers and only two are freshmen. The credit has to go to Coach Richie Riley. He has developed a niche with the transfers, finding that this is the way that he can build a strong, competitive team in a short amount of time. He has some really good players with a lot of experience that are hungry wow. for playing time. And they're doing the best they can tonight here against the Tide. And that was the freshman, Alex Anderson. One of the few, one of the two freshmen. Inside, and the put up by Noah Gurley off the window. Good find on the pick and roll to Noah Gurley. Alabama needing a bucket right there in the worst way. Long range, Gonsalves too strong off the mark. Nice touch pass, and alone in the corner is Shackelford. Unselfish pass. Knocked down the three for Alabama, cutting into this lead. It had been a six point lead, the largest for South. Minute to go. He don't want to talk things over. He knows these last possessions here in the first half are a critical, critical moment for his ball club if they want to stay in this ball game and have a good chance to finish this thing out in the second half. Inbound by South Alabama. Charles Manning, Anderson, Gonsalves, no. He was hot early from three. Now he can't buy one. Ellis, hook pass. Rebound South Alabama off the miss by Gurley. South Alabama looking to slow the pace up here. They can play for the final shot. Trying to play for the final shot. Maintain the lead moving into the second half. J.D. Davison trying to play some pressure defense. They need some help. He's alone and he lays it in with three and a half seconds to go. Manning does. And Davison from long range. Oh, he almost bought it. But no. And at the half, it is South Alabama on top 34 to 31. J.D. Davidson almost made that tonight, but a lot of ball game left for us. So let's see what happens here with the Crimson Tide having led earlier by as many as eight. South Alabama has led by as many as six. And Shackelford will inbound it directly in front of us. And we're underway in front of a great crowd here in Tuscaloosa. Second half in Coleman Coliseum. Great crowd here tonight. South Alabama not intimidated by coming in here to Tuscaloosa. Looking to see what they can do tonight. Gurley, nice floating move inside. He and Bediaco both were crashing inside. They had the big size edge over the South Alabama Jaguars. An advantage in the interior for Alabama. Noah Gurley looking to set the tone for Bama with some nice post-up action. Manning saves it to Franklin. Manning again. No from three-point range and out of bounds off of South Alabama. No, out of bounds off of Alabama. The Jaguars are going to uh, inbound. Here we are, Nola Gurley taking it to the basket, turning around, posting up with a sweet right-hand jump hook in the middle. With 20 on the shot clock.
Franklin, number 13 in the middle. He's not been nearly as effective tonight as expected. Only three points, and there's another turnover. Starting the second half off, not the way that Coach Richie Riley would like to see with another turnover. South Alabama is going to have to cut down on those if they're going to give themselves a chance from this surging Alabama team. Nice bounce, and bango. Beautiful pocket pass by Javaron Quinterly to Charles Bidiaco for the throwdown. And timeout very quickly taking by South Alabama. Go, he gets it back, sets up the defender, brings him to the screen as Bidiaco, Bidiaco sees an advantage in the lane, drops it off. Alabama executing their plays to perfection. Now a beautiful pass, setting it up for the big guy. Now some full court pressure for the Crimson Tide. Quinterly stays with Charles Manning. Thought about it. And then goes to the window, but Chandler is stuffed. And Bama breaks it back. Keon Ellis. Great block by Charles Bidiaco. Long range, right corner, no. And out of bounds off South Alabama. Bidiaco active here, keeping the ball alive, giving Alabama another possession. Let's take a look at what he's doing on the defensive end. It's Manning taking it in, changing the shot, getting a piece of it, sparking the break for Bama. Seeing an opening. Bidiaco, no good, Gurley, no good. Follow-up taken by South Alabama's Franklin. Bama looking for a little big-to-big -big action right there. And a nice reach in to force the turnover. Shackelford, offensive foul. Offensive foul for Shackelford. It'll be his first. Jaden Shackelford overdriving a little bit, not under control. Bama had the numbers, got to come up with something there. Shackelford, 13 points, six rebounds. He leads all scorers in this low scoring affair. Shackelford known for his scoring. And being an all-around player this season, had some distribution in this game. Mediaco puts down Smith. Fans thought there should be a penalty, and now a technical foul on Nate Oates. A technical foul on Nate Oates. Nate Oates not happy with the call. Felt like there was a turnover on South Alabama. Should have been a possession for the Tide. Yep. Gets a little too, too animated there with the referee. Coach Brian Hodgson. The other coach there in the gray shirt with the beard came over to make sure Nate Oates did not get tossed. And Manning with the free throw. He made the first. Good job by the assistant coaches trying to restrict yeah. Nate Oates there. What a tough ball game here in the second half. They know how valuable he is to their team. He thought there was a foul, thought there was a travel. It's a hot environment in here, and the refs are not going to have it. A lot of jawing back and forth. They just want to see players play ball. And Franklin to the window for two. Javon Franklin, we had talked about him before. Tough take by Javon Franklin. That's where you see the athleticism taking it directly to the seven footer. And a turnover on the travel. Unfortunate turnover right there for Bidiaco. He's doing a lot of really, really good things. It's a lot of ball handling for a seven-footer as we go back to take a look at Javon Franklin taking it right to the chest of Bidiaco and finishing strong over the top. Now back live, here's Franklin. Spins in on the big guy, Bidiaco let him go, he doesn't make the shot. Rebound South Alabama. Franklin more of a face to the basket post player. Likes to turn and use his foot speed to attack the slower defenders. Chandler travels. Or they're going to call an offensive foul. They'll call an offensive foul on J.J. Chandler. It'll be his second as he cleared out and route to the basket. 
tough, tough break for J.J. Chandler. Well, he sits, and Alex Anderson will check in. Watch this again. Spark plug for South Alabama picking up his fourth foul. It's got to be tough for him. He's got to remain his composure. Still has some chance to come back in this game and help his team out. Bama has not scored in two minutes and four seconds until that putback right there. Just the putback Bama needs. Noah Gurley down low, getting his nose in there, coming up with the loose ball and sticking it back in for the tie. Manning. Gonsalves. For three. That'll be his third tray of the night for the big guy. Big time shot. Step back from the 6'8 shooter from Brazil. Tough basket for South Alabama and Gonzalo. He had no room and he created some. Ellis. And a make on the outside for three by Gurley. That's the answer right there by Noah Gurley. The big men are letting it fly tonight here at Coleman Coliseum. Manning. Smith. He adds a three. Deontay Smith. They've seen the, one. They've seen to find the stroke now in the second half. Beautiful shooting on display. Rebound tipped by Gonsalves. It goes to Ellis. Shackelford. Short. And here comes South Alabama the other way. South Alabama looking to run. Manning. Off the mark, no good. And Quinterly comes back the other way. Gurley. No good. Rebound and over the top of foul on South Alabama. Up and down pace here tonight in Tuscaloosa as we take another look at Gonsalves with a nice shot. This game has done some really good things tonight against Alabama's big. He's a force to reckon with. I think he's going to be poised for a good season. Let's hope he can get back into shape. Vinny DiCarlo is the trainer there working with him. And a tray off the inbound. Beautiful execution of the inbounds play coming out the timeout. Shackelford for three, knocking it down just as Coach Nate Oates drew it up. 16 points for Shackelford. Manning. Spins and gets hit as he goes. Strong take by Charles Manning Jr. He's a shifty player, getting his players going left to right, right to left, spinning and coming up with the foul. Miles with the personal. Folks, don't forget Friday night, we're going to have a college basketball doubleheader to tip off your weekend at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 Central on the SEC Network. Coach Cal and the 10th-ranked Kentucky Wildcats hosting Ohio U at Rupp Arena. Then it's the Battle of the Peach State. Georgia State taking on the Bulldogs at Stegeman Coliseum. Both games right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Refs calling it tight here. They are. A little hand check there on the setup. It'll be Anderson's foul, number 12 in blue, his first. And a turnover again. That'll be 17 on the Crimson Tide tonight. Gonsalves can't go. Tip back won't go. Rebounds to the corner. And it's out of bounds off... Blue. It'll be white ball, the official says. It'll be Alabama basketball. Hard to get a handle on the ball here. A lot of tips, mishandles here, turnovers. We're seeing it all. 17 turnovers for Bama, 13 for South Alabama. So South has two in this half. Alabama has three. Near turnover there yep. for Alabama. J.D. Davidson fortunate to get away with that one. Tough skip pass with the right hand coming across the court. Alabama still able to retain possession. Looking to inbound it. 
The return quickly to Holt. Inside, Bediako, no, misses the bunny. Can't get the rebound. And it's, well, let's see. It's out of bounds off South Alabama. It rolled off the fingertips of Manning. There were folks sitting behind the basket emphatically pointing. The officials were screened out, but then they finally got a good look at it. Look at Betty Ako. Had a great opportunity there. Yeah, Betty Ako comes up short there. Loose ball, not clever to get the handle. Yep, and it was dribbled out of bounds by Manning. Holt. Shackelford short. Gonsalves pulled down the rebound, and here's Anderson. South Alabama looking to set up some offense here. Gonsalves. Follow up a beauty for the Jaguars. That was Alex Anderson flying in. Incredible effort by Alex Anderson. South Alabama trying to run some offense there. Pick and pop with Gonsalves. Alex Anderson cleaning things up. And there's going to be a whistle underneath. And the officials are all looking at one another. The foul is going to be on Javon Franklin. I didn't think he was in the ball game. Take another look here at that last miss by Gonsalves and the cleanup by Alex Anderson. Beautiful, beautiful finish for the Jaguars. Franklin is back in the ball game. Committed that personal foul. Good to see Javon Jack yeah. Franklin back on the floor. I didn't see him come in. Davison. It is an air ball that goes off the chest of Anderson and out of play. Tough shot for J.D. Davison. Now there's only four seconds on the shot clock. Joe, a quick inbounds for the Crimson Tide. One, two dribbles, and Miles puts it up just before the expiration of the shot clock. Great decision by Darius Miles. They called up the same out-of-bounds play that they just ran to Shackelford. He faked the dribble handoff and took it all the way to the cup. Beautiful move by Darius Miles. South Alabama rejected by Davison. Wow. Emphatically. Big time ups by J.D. Davidson. You know, when you're a freshman like him with that type of ability, as we take another look at it right here, skying up for the rejection, this is what he would need to get himself going. Get a play done on the defensive end. Get a rejection. Get yourself going into the ball game. Feel the energy of the arena. And be the player you can be. Manning. Stops and uses the window perfectly and a whistle and a technical foul And that's a player he can be Coming up a little bit saying a little bit too much to the referee. They caught yep. him Caught him chirping a little bit strong move by Charles Manning jr Takes it thrown to him looks at him too small too small, but we can't do that. Yeah great move by Charles Manning A taunting technical foul, as the referee tells us as he comes over. It's a tough ball game here. South Alabama with a lead here on the road in a hot environment in Coleman Coliseum. And they can't afford to give away points. With all due respect. With all due respect. There's nobody in America who expected to be this tight a game with 12 minutes to go. They cannot afford to give away points. You can't afford to give away points. I understand the passion by Charles Manning oh, Jr. Oh, sure. He's playing a great ball game. He's the emotional leader of this South Alabama team. He's coming in here on the road with something to prove against a, an old SEC opponent. And uh, he's getting his emotions get to him. Hopefully he can get his composure and continue to play a good game for South Alabama. Nice finger roll for Keon after everybody thought he was going to go long range. Beautiful move by Keon Ellis. Taking it from the perimeter, weaving his way to the paint, finishing with the soft bu bucket there, tying the game up here for the tie. Gonsalves. Rebound on the right side for Smith. Alabama's going to have to... Franklin inside in the jam. Beautiful finish by Javon. 
Franklin, Alabama is going to have to realize long shot, long rebound. Gang rebounding is going to be key in this ball game. With Gonzalez shooting shots from outside, you got to anticipate the rebounds are going to go long to sure up these possessions. Floats it up off the iron, no good. And the rebound for Franklin again. Now Anderson, he gets hit as he penetrates the paint. And the whistle. Anderson taking it there strong, drawing a little bit of contact, giving himself to go to the line to earn him. Let's take another look back with Alabama squad as they have no fear with a lot of experience. Able to take this game here, pushing it to the wire, giving Alabama everything they want. Andrew Anderson will be shooting a pair. He's a sophomore out of Memphis looking for his seventh point of the night and they do not come coming up empty right there coming out of the timeout south alabama knows that this alabama team is really really explosive they got to take advantage of the freebies outside keon ellis for three right on cue keon ellis knocking down a big time tray for alabama they can fill it up from deep Maybe the surge they need to get it going. Alabama back on top by a point. Nice baseline feed and a traveling call. Another turnover, Javon Franklin. I don't blame him for traveling. He was coming face to face with Betty Ako right there. Yeah, let's take another look. Betty Ako catching on the short row, finding the wide open shooter, Keon Ellis, knocking it down for the Crimson Tide. Deontay Smith will check in for South Alabama. Davison to Quinterly. Nice reverse. And the whip pass cross court. And it's laid in. By Darius Miles. Great take off the ball of rotation and finding Darius Miles. Taking it all the way to the basket, slivering through the big men and finishing with the left hand. Here's Gonsalves to Chandler. South Alabama taking the time, some run, some offense here. The reach in on the turnover. And here's where Alabama tries to take over. Ellis. Around Gonsalves and the foul on the big man. Great take by Keon Ellis right there. Poise. Didn't feel comfortable shooting the outside shot. Saw a lane to drive it all the way in. Took the contact and gave himself to go to the free throw line where he can possibly pick up two. You know, Keon Ellis is a very, very consistent player for Alabama. He can shoot it from all over on the outside, take it on the inside. Hey, folks, quick reminder that every Saturday, Marty and McGee and SEC Nation brings you extensive SEC game previews that you won't find anywhere. And this week, they're going to be right here in Tuscaloosa for the big game between Arkansas and Alabama. Coverage starts at 9 a.m. Eastern, 8 Central. Both are right here on the SEC Network and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Big game for Bama Saturday. They win. They have earned a spot in the SEC football championship game against Georgia. Franklin. The reach in. Ellis. No. Blocked by the big guy. Great extension by Betty Ako. Standing strong against a very, very aggressive Javon Franklin. Defensive stand Alabama needs. Bama has a 6-0 run in the last 95 seconds, having hit four of their last five field goal opportunities. Alabama can get hot. Yeah. When you play in Alabama, you have to understand you have to try to make it a game of possessions, as Coach Richie Riley has tried to understand and teach his team. They can fill it up really quickly and go on a 10-0 run just like that. Betty Ako not looking very spry as he and the trainer Clark Holder going towards the locker room. The other end of the floor, running try, won't go, rebound cleared away 
by Noah Gurley. Steel try. Great ball movement. Reverse layup by Ellis for two. And timeout is taken by South Alabama. Beautiful dime by Javon Quinterly. Looking out of the side of his eye and finding Keon Ellis. For him, if they're going to have a strong inside presence to finish this game out. Alabama has now a 12 to 2 run in the last three minutes and 22 seconds to take a six point lead. This is what Alabama can do to you. They can go yep. on deep runs, not just with their offense, as here they are coming out of the break with some intensity and pressure by Javon Quinterly. You have to try to control that aspect of the game. And a steal. Miles. And the jam. Darius Miles anticipating the passing lane, taking it all the way to the other window with a tomahawk jam. And this is what Alabama is all about. You wondered when this was going to happen as Gurley picks up the personal foul, his second. Here we are. We take a look at Darius Miles. Reading the passing lane, taking it all the way to the house for us. Tomahawk jam. And Bama now on a 14-2 run in the last four minutes. And here's good news. Charles Bediaco back in if you're a Bama fan. The big guy who was limped off before and you saw him on the stationary bike. Good he is in for Noah Gurley. Good to see Bediaco back on the floor after nursing some pains he has. This is what Alabama does to you. They're going to wear you down with their defensive game. They're going to find a moment to get what they do and get on a big run and spurt. South Alabama has not been able to respond. The game is tilting right into Alabama's hands here. Chandler had the shot over Miles, but it wouldn't go. And now Davison. He directs traffic. Ball tipped in the air. Gonsalves takes it. For Anderson for the Jaguars. Manning thought about it. Chandler, they reach in, knock it away off of whom? It'll be off of South Alabama. It'll be Alabama ball when play resumes. Take a look at Darius Miles getting into. So uh, that's been the high water mark for uh, both teams tonight. Some really good play here tonight by both teams. South Alabama hitting a little bit of lull here. A little bit over seven to go in the game. Let's see what they can do out of the break. Knocked away and it's going off of Shackelford. Manning knocked it off of Shackelford and out of bounds. Turnovers in the story for both of these teams. Have to figure out a way to protect the ball, value possessions, come up with quality possessions for both of these teams. Four turnovers in the last 420 for the Jaguars. There's an opening, and Manning gets hit as he goes, and the foul will be on Shackelford. Beautiful design play by South Alabama, running up a pick and roll. Manning able to get past it at the big slid out of there and take it all the way to the cup. Manning to shoot a pair. Hey, have you seen the Week 12 SEC football lineup that we have for you on Saturday? The game started noon Eastern, 11 Central, continuing right through 15th-ranked Ole Miss hosting Vandy at 7.30 Eastern, 6.30 Central. Every game also available on the ESPN app, so you can watch them anywhere. One app, one tap. Some great football coming up on Saturday. Around Gonsalves. And an offensive foul on Darius Miles. A little bit out of control drive right there by Darius Miles. Going to his weak hand to the right. Had to make a tough pass. He's, he's driving into the paint. A little bit out of control. Gets to the air. Took his eye off the guy stepping in there for the charge. He looked a little tentative to, to start with. It's a little bit good scouting report by uh, South Alabama sending him to his weak hand. Yep. 
And Gonsalves, once again, stepping in there, putting his body in, in harm's way for his team. Maybe the spark the South Alabama needs to have a little punch here at the end. Missing the layup, but a foul inside. A lot of contact there on that drive. Late call, but the correct call as Charles Manning Jr. takes it all the way to the basket. A little bit of contact there as we take another look at it. Crossing over right to left, taking it to the basket. Steps in, Shackelford gets him there on the arm. Good call by the referee. The fans don't quite agree. Tough crowd in here tonight. It is a tough crowd. As Manning makes the first. All the while, though, the Jaguars haven't had a field goal in five minutes and three seconds. Credit to Alabama. You know, Coach Nate Oates said he really wanted to emphasize that his team, team pick up the defensive effort. They've been able to turn over South Alabama tonight. They've communicated well and rotated well and given South Alabama a hard time here in the second half. Around the horn and a nice block by Gonsalves and then knocked out of bounds by Manning. Of a job right there. Just reaching in to knock it away. Good defense by Gonzalez. Good extension on the block shot, anticipating the inside layup. With six minutes now remaining in the ball game, Bama has led by eight. South Alabama has led by six. And a force up and a foul. Jayden That'll Shackford. be Deontay Smith, excuse me, with the personal. Jaden Shackelford getting his three-point attempt blocked, but staying after it, being aggressive, comes up with the foul. Here's Quinterly finding Shackelford, gets his shot blocked, but retains the ball, and in the right place at the right time, picking up a foul there. On. That's the fourth on Smith to go with the four on Chandler now. As Shackelford hits that one. Nobody is in anywhere near any foul trouble for Alabama. Host of guys with two or one, but nothing beyond that. Yeah, tough break for South Alabama. Two of their quality guards picking up some fouls here in the game. Not able to be aggressive in the end of the game, but Coach Richie Ryder will have to dial up a few things for his squad and give them a chance to, to fight in the last six minutes of the ball game. Gonsalves again as he dials up a beautiful set play. Gonsalves coming off the pin down screen, catching it at the 45 and knocking down a big time three pointer for South Alabama. He's got four three pointers tonight. In the first two games combined, he only had five. Well, that's what he does. You know, yeah. he's a very, very efficient and quality shooter, but he's stepping up with his leadership tonight on the defensive end. And that was a tough stop on Davison right there. Three on the shot clock, off the window with one hand. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Javon Quinterly going in his bag with the moves, taking it all the way to the cup, scooping it around with the left-hand layup. Wow. Manning. They double-team him. Gonsalves. Little miscommunication. Yep. And a whistle underneath on Alabama, I believe. Little miscommunication yep. there defensively by Alabama. Had two players on one guy. Gonsalves was able to get a free look. It still had good rotation to come and contest that shot, but it led to good offensive rebounding positioning for South Alabama, and Anderson able to clean it up for the Jaguars. Keon Ellis with the personal foul. His second. Free throws are going to be important for this South Alabama ball yeah. club. They're going to come into Tuscaloosa and come out and try to steal a win against a top 15 ranked team. These are big time crucial baskets that they have to knock down. And he gets that one. You see at the bottom of your screen, Coach Richie Riley, he just paces up and back, up and back, like a caged Jaguar, if you will. It's almost like it's in the game. Yep. 
that Iaco bumps. Bodies go down and whistles aplenty. There he is, Gonzalez again. Yeah. He's giving up his body for his team. You can see the leadership and the experience that Coach Richie Riley spoke of. Tough play for, for Charles Bidiaco. Such a young player to make. Catching that pick and roll on the move, trying to find the open player. He's got to learn to get his head up and find where the defenders are to make the proper read in that situation. Bediaco, 7 feet, 225. Gonzalez, 6'8", 212. You can see the experience with Gonzalez there stepping in. In the inexperienced Bidiaco, but a very talented player. The future is bright for him. Backing in on Ellis. Shot clock at 7. Here's Quinterly. Davison spins in. Defense stays with him. Shackelford to the baseline. Nope, doesn't get the bounce. South Alabama looking to slow it down. Walking Alabama up the court trying to run some offense. And look at the coach again at the bottom of your screen. He's directing it like a maestro. He is. Franklin. Bounce pass. Long range. Count it for three. And all of a sudden, we're tied again. Tie ball game in Tuscaloosa. Manning Jr. knocking it down. Off the creativity from the big man, Jawan, Javon Franklin. Inside of three minutes. Alabama finding a mismatch with Javon Quinterly. He had Gonzalez on him at the top of the key, and everyone spread it out and let him go to work. Big-time bucket by Javon Quinterly. What a ball game we've got tonight. So happy to have you along wherever you are in this great country of ours. We're seeing an interesting one. Manning. No. Rebound, Shackelford. Critical stop right there for Alabama. South Alabama was surging. That basket, Coach Richie Riley knows how big that would have been for them. Quinterly from three, no good. Rebound, Davison tipped it out nicely to Shackelford. Good decision by Shackelford here. Pulling it out, trying to work a little bit of clock. They have the lead here. Shackelford around Gonsalves, no good. Rebound, Bediaco, no. And the foul on the reach in by Javon Franklin, and we've got timeout. Outstanding effort right there by Charles Mediaco as we take this exact same situation a few nights ago at Wichita State in a close one with under two minutes ago. They didn't come up with a win. We'll see what Coach Richie Riley has dialed up and talked to his team tonight and how they can respond here against a tough Alabama team on the road. Mediaco makes the first free throw. Good touch from the seven-footer. Yep. Were you a good free throw shooter? Not the best free throw shooter. It's one area of my game that I don't really like to talk about okay. in my playing days. But. I'll roll that back then. <laughs> but you don't see a lot of seven-footers who make a lot of free throws, and Betty Yako makes the pair right there. He knocked it down, especially here in the clutch. Free throw is tough for big men. It can be mental, psychological, but he was able to find a stroke here in the end. Ball is lost by Manning. And now Ellis with a minute 40 to go in the ball game. Alabama with a slow break looking to set something up here. Ellis around Gonsalves. And a foul as he goes off the glass. Keon Ellis looking to be aggressive, trying to find his mid-range jumper off the glass. Javon Franklin taps him on the elbow. Ellis with an opportunity to extend Alabama's lead. Bama up by four. They have led by eight tonight. And again, South Alabama has led by six. Very important free throws here by Keon Ellis. Makes that one. 22 turnovers for Bama tonight to 19 for South Alabama. Matter of fact, South has more points off turnovers. 18 to 16, and does Alabama. Not the best ball control for either one of these teams, but 
Here they are, both in the end. South Alabama is still in striking distance as Keon Ellis knocks down two. Up the floor, double team, back door. Nobody picked up Javon Franklin, and he jams it in for two. Beautiful find by Charles Manning Jr. to Javon Franklin in the pocket pass, and he shows a little bit of that athleticism with a two-handed jam. 109 to go. Outside and all alone, but it's short. Outlet feed coming back to knock it out of bounds. No, not out of bounds. Saved by South Alabama with a minute to go in the ball game. Manning. Offensive foul. Deontay Smith. He will foul out. Deontay Smith is gone with seven points and three rebounds on the night. Here we are taking another look at ball swinging over to Deontay Smith. A little too aggressive. Javon Quinterly slides over, takes the shoulder in the chest. Tough break for Deontay Smith as now he has to He'll take a seat for the Jaguars. The inbound by Alabama. You see the time remaining, bottom of your screen. Davison, yes! My goodness! J.D. J. Davison in the end, taking it all the way with authority. Wow. Six-point lead. Trey tried Gonsalves, no good. And there's going to be a blocking foul on the floor. And that is going to be another foul out. That was J.J. Chandler fouling out for South Alabama. J.D. Davison inbounding the ball, getting it back on the give and go. Super athletic in the end, taking off from the SEC side, hammering home. J.D. Davison taking flight here in Tuscaloosa, bringing the house down. Very athletic young player. Hasn't quite found his stride here with the Crimson Tide, but a very good veteran guard led team here. Hard to find your, your rhythm with a team that's so good, but that's a way to get yourself going. Hopefully for the young man, he can use that as some momentum to find his, his rhythm, find his confidence, and be the player that everyone is hoping and expecting he can be that we know he can be. Chandler fouling out, six points, four rebounds. After Shackelford missed the first free throw, let's see what happens here. He makes the second. No time to waste for the Jaguars. South, South Alabama doesn't need a three, taking it all the way to the... Anderson for two and timeout South Alabama Anderson seems to disagree thought it could have been an and one Coach Richie Riley trying to tell his players to keep your composure Determined But I'll tell you it's gonna be a lot of fun at the Mitchell Center in Mobile this year This is an exciting basketball team that South Alabama has Absolutely you see why their preseason poll picked to be at the top of the Sun Belt Conference Here's Miles, and a foul on Gonzalez, who Alabama. reaches in. Alabama with a nice design press breaker there to free themselves up from South Alabama's design pressure. Second foul on Gonzalez. The big guys played well tonight for USA. He's played great. Not, not the best shooting touch tonight. Hasn't found his stroke from two, but three-pointers were knock a few down but his leadership is shown he's stepping in there taking some big time charges some big time defensive plays miles missing from the free throw line there's a good look at Caio gonzalez from rio de janeiro he's a leader on the team he's not vocal the coach said he's a he just follow me see what i do He's not the guy who's going to stand up and, and, and cheer and yell. He's a non-vocal leader. As Miles cans that one. Tight game. Manning. Pass stolen and Gonsalves 
reaches in to commit the personal foul. Great steal by Darius Mouse. He's going to have really good anticipation for passing lanes. We've seen him a few times a night. Been able to watch where that pass is going to go and get himself in position to come up with a steal. Big time steal for Darius Miles and for Alabama here in the last minutes and seconds of the ball game. Looking ahead, South Alabama will be home on Saturday against Mobile College and home on Monday against William Carey before they head out to Las Vegas for a tournament there. Alabama, meanwhile, will be upcoming here on uh, Friday against Oakland before heading down to Florida for a uh, tournament. Both free throws no good. And the lay-in on the running of the floor by Franklin. But that's going to do it. This ball game is in the books. 73-68 the final score. Quite a ball game. It really was. Uh, South Alabama played their hearts out. The Alabama Crimson Tide found a way to settle.